I'd like to thank Eddie for going through all the steps, showing me how to do it. No, I'm not showing you how to do it. Yeah, you yeah. know how to do it. Exactly. You're a professional. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Hey, welcome to Buddy RC. My name is Dan. And I'm Eddie. Today, OMP Hobby would like to introduce to you their VTOL aircraft. This is the ZMO. The one we have on the bench today is the Bind and Fly that comes with the Caddx DJI air unit already installed. Now, OMP Hobby will offer other versions as well. You're going to be offered the Bind and Fly with the DJI transmitter, the Bind and Fly with the DJI goggles, the Ready to Fly, which comes with the DJI transmitter and goggles, and the ARF kit. ARF is you will install your own receiver and VTX and camera. Yes. And today we're going to be showing you how to install a S-Bus receiver. We're using the Radio Master 161 or the TBS Crossfire Nano receiver. Let's start off with taking off the props. Then open up the hatch and there's going to be one screw that you're going to need a two millimeter hex This will remove the other hatch that's over the flight controller. You're going to need a connector to go into the flight controller. For this video purpose, we're going to use some other connections here because I want to be able to swap out the receivers and show you both how both receivers connect to the flight controller. So normally you would just have your receiver directly to this connector. So this connector goes in the flight controller right here. It's a four pin, just like that. And then your receiver option. Right now the crossfire is connected, but I can also remove this and show you how The Radio Master R161 connects. Three wire connection. You don't need the other two wires. Okay, let's get started. On the Radio Master R161 receiver, you're gonna get this connection. You're gonna use this, plug it into the receiver. You're gonna use negative, which is the black wire, positive, which is the red wire, and yellow, which is the signal wire. This is all you need to connect to the aircraft. On the TBS Crossfire Nano receiver, we're gonna end up using all four wires. You're gonna use ground, which is black, red for the positive, yellow for the signal, and white for the telemetry. On the flight controller, this connector from left to right is gonna be red, positive. This other black wire here is not ground. This wire is telemetry. Then signal for S bus and black for ground. So this is the setup that I have for the TX-16S. Channel one, aileron. Channel two, elevator. Channel three, throttle. Channel four, rudder. Then we're gonna go to channel six for your flight modes and channel seven for your return to home. Simple as that. Okay, so now I will be showing you with the Radio Master TX-16S how it looks connected to the Radio Master R161 receiver. Okay, you have a solid green light to show that it's bound. Here you can see that I have movement. And if you put it into forward flight, You can see that I have full aileron and elevator controls. Okay. 
And now I'm showing you how it looks with the TBS Crossfire Nano receiver connected. I have control surface movement. If I go into forward flight with this switch, forward flight. I have a audible they're telling me forward flight and I have full elevator and aileron control. And then I have I have a return to home, which if we had GPS lock on, it would return. Panel six is your VTOL and forward flight switch. I have selected here SA and I have audio telling me normal mode, which is VTOL and forward flight. Channel seven, which I have selected SB switch is return to home. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you are, hit the like button, hit the notification, give us a thumbs up. Down below, we will have in the description the links to the receivers, the radio, and the ZMO VTOL. So once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye.